My name is Ben Iron. Silver for illegal stuff. Oh, favourite yard, my God. Uh, Tunbridge, Dartford, Grove Park, Gidea Park, Shenfield. Ah, oh, there's too many to mention. Don't like any Hall of Fame. Uh, How and Nozem, Ostiaminos, Twist, Elk, Ochre. That's more than five. <laughs> I don't like Chris. Uh, getting away with it is the best graph story I can tell you. I tell a murderer. Well, this is a bit fucking amazing, isn't it? Come and check this out. What have we got here, then, Alan? We've got, like, it might be the only group show that I've ever kind of properly organised. And uh, we've got 90, 103 artists that have all stepped up to uh, give us a piece of work to uh, raise money for the big issue, basically. We gave everybody strict instructions no bigger than A3. And as you can see, nobody paid a blind bit of attention. Okay, so some of the people that I am really, really pleased to have in the show. JJ, Mr. Nucky. Dr. Nucky inside the house. And then just here, we've got Bills from Portugal. That's crazy. That, that is crazy. And then up there you've got Delta, number 79, another, Delta. Another massive, another, yeah. European king. He invented 3D graffiti in a way that had never been done before. Mr. Inky, Brinkle, Brinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Bristol Head, original yeah. Bristol Head. Big up teeth, wow. Mr. Kid Acne. Let's, uh, let's move it around here, so. We've got Shepherd Fairy, probably the biggest Household name in the show, mm. Tristan Eaton. Yeah, that's another big one. Amazing to have you in the show. One up crew. One up crew. And the arguably the most expensive of the of the collection. Yeah, the, the yeah the most expensive piece because of the virus. People aren't on the street. Mm. Big issue sellers becoming ill. They're not actually selling. Mm. They're not out there selling the big issue, and that's how they raise money. Yeah. So what we're hopefully going to do here is raise a load of money so the people that aren't out there earning can have some money. See what I'm saying? Legit shit. We got Mr. Zombie. Zombie, man. DDS. Who's this here? That one there is a dude called Akuda. And he is... He's based in... I don't know whereabouts, but somewhere. Yeah, Spain. Come on. Christmas Speeds. Yes. Love it. it. looks like the inside of the robot from Aliens when it blows up, you know. Crazy. I, I, I literally, I love this stuff. I know. I said that earlier, I think it's my favourite, just on that alone. It just... it, although, you did show us this. Is this one of your favourites, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is one of my favourites. This is a guy uh, called Josh Schlicker. It looks like five or six layers of laser cut line. Mm. Mm. Yeah, another amazing piece, underneath Chris Steed's. You've got this guy here, Dave, and he actually sells the big issue. Crazy. So, you know, we wanted, you know, we wanted, yeah, the Gozian-esque art mm. next to a big issue vendor. Real street contemporaries. And yeah, we interviewed him for the magazine, so he's got an interview in the big issue, and he's got a piece of his art hanging up in the gallery. Wow. Did you ever think, you know what I mean? Like, could you ever imagine it coming to this point in your career where no, no. I, like there, there was, there was never a point when I was doing graph that I thought one day this would be my job. One day I'll be working with Louis Vuitton. One day I'll be, you know, 
guest editing the big issue. That was never occurred to me yeah. for one second. But yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that I have those opportunities. And I think as an artist, you should take advantage of them and do what you can and help other people out. Yeah. Loads of people from loads of different, you know, skill sets, different levels of art. We're all here in the same room. Mm -hmm. And I like that. was like, what are you doing for Christmas? And I'm like, going yards. So I didn't need an excuse anymore. And I thought that was quite nice. Yeah, getting a phone call saying, David Cameron wants to give President Obama one of your, pe one of your paintings. I wouldn't change anything. I did everything wrong and it's turned out all right. Uh, what, they didn't tell me that the self-imposed rules that graffiti writers impose upon themselves will stop your freedom to express yourself. 